what we get. To the channel thanks for tuning in uh, today I'm gonna do a sandwich pour but I'm gonna do something a little different I'm going to use less colors between my uh, layers of white I tend to uh, put more color in between the layers when I'm sandwiching in um, because I don't always want that marble effect uh, Jeremy Massey does some really great marble pours um, but it's a, his has a lot of white with just splashes of color through there looks amazing I tend to put more color in so that it kind of creates more color on the painting um, But today I'm gonna do it like Jeremy and I'm gonna use less paint I'm also using uh, or I'm, tr I'm doing an experiment with the uh, gesso G-E-S-S-O however how you pronounce it gesso gesso um, I have some paintings I want to paint over top of, but I find that sometimes when I paint over top of an already painted canvas, when the new painting dries, it cracks, especially along the edges. So today's painting, I'm going to uh, put a coat of gesso on it. I've already done it, and we're going to see how well this one comes out, see if I get any cracking. All right, so let's get down on the canvas and let's get to painting. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what I've got today is a 20 by 24 canvas. So I, this is, I'm doing a little experiment because you know how sometimes you want to paint over a canvas and if you do paint over it, sometimes it dries great, sometimes it cracks along the edges. So I went out and I bought a gallon of the gesso. And so I did put the gesso or gesso, however how you say it. I, um, I painted that on top of this previous painting and now I've painted my edges and sides black because I'm going to be doing a black base and I'm doing a sandwich pour. The colors are leftover colors that I had from the previous pour on my huge canvas. So this is a um, silver and pewter mixed together. Amsterdam silver and deco art pewter. This one, if I'm not mistaken, was primary cyan from Amsterdam. This was Pyrol Red and Thalo Blue and Prussian Blue with Blue Black from Artillier. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not, but it's like an olive green and I forget what other green from Amsterdam. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I am gonna do a sandwich pour. All right, my sandwich color is going to be the uh, Artist Loft Soft Body White. So what I'm going to do is pour in a layer of white. And put some red. Halo blue. Silver. And the Prussian blue black. Let's put Prussian. It's green. 
Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more of the green. I'm actually going to put a little bit of my black in here, too, on top of that. Just a little bit. And some gray. Or silver, I mean. I keep saying it's gray for some reason. I tilt this this is going to be a mess because I need about 17 ounces of paint and this is a 16 ounce cup Let's move the paint around, see what I get.
much for keeping negative space. So, not exactly what I planned for, but with sandwich pours, the longer you let them sit, the more the color will develop. And so I think I'm gonna let this sit right where it is, and I'm just gonna clean up the edges, torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. What's happening is the colors are now starting to pop up through the white and create um, these wonderful lines that are going through it and yeah the more and more it sits the more it's developing because i thought it was going to be too much white but it's starting to really develop so i'm going to clean up these edges because i've got some black showing through here all right here we are with the wet result I'm digging it. Very minimalistic, very ethereal looking. Uh, let me bring you in here. see this dry I'll be right back all right guys here we are with the dried result this really dried amazing I love the lines in this and it's given that marble effect it's not necessarily looking like a you know a regular painting so let me bring you in here
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. This one, it dried amazing. However, I have come to learn that when you apply the gesso, it should probably be applied with a roller. I applied it with a paintbrush. And so while the paint didn't necessarily crack, I can see every single brush stroke from the gesso on this painting. So my next painting that I do that I'm gonna paint over top of something and I use the gesso, I am going to use a foam roller to get a nice smoother edge. Try that out. Cause I've got some canvases that I do want to paint over and um, I don't necessarily want to just throw them away and I don't necessarily want to cut them up and use them as prints. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep painting over top of them, try out the gesso and do it with a roller and see if I get a better result. But overall, I really, really do love the composition to this. I love the marbling effect. Um, Jeremy Massey, like I said, does some really great um, sandwich pours, marble pours. Um, so it creates a marbling look. The colors aren't too uh, prominent. It's a little prominent over here, the blue, but you could just see fades of color through it. So I do like that. So that's pretty cool. So um, I will play with that again sometime, but I'm definitely going to do another marble pour with the same colors and I will probably put more color in between the sandwich later. So we'll see. Having a lot of fun. It's always fun to just experiment with stuff. So let's see what happens next time. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.